Welcome to the Louisville Fight Club. I'm Mike Cruz. We're here at Hester's Family Fitness Center with Ash Bowman, fresh out of Ken Shamrock's Lions Den. How you doing, Ash? Great, man. How you doing? Good, good. What's going on here? Uh, these guys right now are, are working out in a Russian kettlebell exercise. Um, as you can see, it, it works and develops different muscles. Um, generally, it works your core strength, uh, and it works your legs, your back, your arms. It's a total body workout. And there goes Marco. Another good, promising fighter. Absolutely. Uh, he likes to strike, likes to kickbox, uh, likes to, to go for the TK or the knockout. So keep your eyes on him. Too. Yeah, dude. I'm kidding, dude. Look at that man. All right, guys, we're going to do some sparring here in a minute. I know all four of y'all got a fight coming up this month. It's going to be an outdoor show. It's not going to be a whole lot of submissions. So today we're going to work stand up with positioning and ground and pound. I don't want to see any submissions today. It's going to be hard to pull. But delivering pain through pounding, definitely be there. So let's get, get a drink of water. We'll get moving. Get going. Let's do it. I can see you want to fight in your eyes today. Also. Let's go. Here we have Marco Aguirre and Matt Troya. Uh, Marco's really got some good stand up, Ash. Definitely. He's very quick, very lightning uh, speed hands, uh, kicks, very sneaky guy. Oh, nice round ass and left hook to the head. Oh, he cut recovers, comes back. Dancing around a little bit. Nice head movement by Marco. Yeah, he, he seems to be moving away from Matt's power. That was a good left hook and a right hand by Marco. Yeah, that was on the outside, engaging each other again to, to, to re-enter. Nice jab, head slip. Nice, mixing it back up. Moving around, there you go. Got nice bob and weave by Marco. Matt's trying to get in right now and try to work some punches right now. Yeah, he is. He's got some good one-two combinations going on. Uh, Marco's covering up, bro. He's covering up nicely. Backing out a little bit, disengaging a little bit. Measuring one another. Boom, boom. Nice cover. Good left hook and good right. Nice. Another one. Nice. You guys are going at it. Marco's got some definitely good leg kicks. Definitely. He's, both of these guys have a definite heart, too. They, they're really nice and, and they're tough guys and, and they got big hearts, man. Nice. Good so, left, right. Need some come flying in and throw a flurry on you. And as soon as he keeps coming to the body, he's gonna lower those hands. Go ahead. Yeah. Don't lower hands. Ready? Let's go. Stand up fighter. Absolutely. And Matt's holding his own. Definitely. He's willing to trade, mix it back and forth. And Good combination. Absolutely. He's pouring it on him right now. Oh, he's backing up. Good nice. left. These guys are throwing down. Throwing nice. Oh, nice right hand. Nice. Oh. Watch the knee. There you go. These guys are taking trade. Nice straight punches. left. Yeah. He's got the protective headgear on, obviously, so they can. Oh, nice right hand by Rocco. <laughs> to keep from getting put in comas here. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely want to protect the head. Oh, head. another right hand. Another nice leg kick. kick. Snuck the kick in. Very I think sneaky. he got him. I think he hurt him a little yeah. bit with that leg kick. He took the wind out of him. I sailed right there on that one. Yeah, Marco's got some definite good leg kicks. Definitely. Got to be quick. So we got Gavin Worth starting the action between Marco Aguirre and Jason Hazel. Both these guys full of spit and vinegar tonight. Yeah, they're, they're, really, they're really going at it. Good takedown by Marco. Got him side control. Marco's also a very, very good uh, stand-up fighter. Uh, he's he's another one that's, that's you're going to have to reckon with in the future. And he's doing really well here on the ground. He's uh, putting a lot of his weight down, bearing a lot of weight in that side control. Looks like he's going for the arm bar. And it looks like he may have it. And into the mirrors they go. <laughs> these guys are everywhere, man. I'm telling you, they, they get into it, man. It's just like a real fight to them, except they can't strike, you know. He's setting up for the arm bar. Ooh, oh, wow, that looked nasty. Ooh, that looked like a pop, for real. Oh. <laughs> he remains victorious. That was an excellent fight. A lot of action that. All right, Mike, here we are with the lightweight finals. We got Marco Aguirre facing off with Tony Thomas. This is going to be a Donnie Brook here. This is going to be a good match. Wow, you can see the wrestling skills come into play. Tony gets the takedown and immediately into the scarf hold. And position, position, position for the wrestler. Yeah, this is the, the classic wrestler versus jiu-jitsu style. I mean, you know, Marco is picking up a lot, and uh, he's doing a really, really good job with his submissions, and uh, Tony needs to watch out for that. Yeah. And uh, Marco needs to turn to him to get out of this position. 
Yeah, he wants to turn to his knees just like what he's doing, and he wants to try to take the back of Tony. Doesn't always work out the way you want it to, but he's well, in a dominant got position now. So he's he's got the back, and he's looking to sink in the hooks and maybe secure the choke. Tony, this is not a good position for Tony to be in. No, 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 no. He's got a few things that he can do to get out of here, but he really, really needs to work to get out before he's in this position. Right, Marco looks like he got the figure four on his stomach there on his ribs. Yeah, and that really, really secures the position to the back. I mean, it's really, really tough to turn into it once you've got that lock. He's working the choke. Oh, oh man, he's nice slam. slam out of it. Yeah, but Marco holds on for dear life. He's tightening the grip a little bit there. See if he can work the blade of his forearm under Tony's chin. Now, uh, Tony, uh, again, uh, it, what can he do if he can do anything to try to get out of his position? Well, the best thing to do is remain calm, but um, there's a couple of straight arm bar options. Um, you can work the legs to see if you can break that figure four lock to escape, or even, you know, if you can just get enough space to turn into your man, you can get the top position. You know, you'd be a lot right. better off than where he's at now. Yeah, that looks like a heck of a tough position to get out of. Yeah, Marco's got short legs, so when he when he uh, compresses that figure four lock, man, it really hurts. Man, it looks like he just did that too. Yeah, and it'll make you tap, so Marco comes out the winner. Louisville MMA heavyweight champion, John Troy. Louisville MMA lightweight champion, Marco Aguas.